Hello, today we are going to look at configuring a confirm modal in UI Builder. So what I want to do is I want to add a button to this page that we've used in some previous demos and I want that button to pop up a, a modal and my modal is going to have some information on it and then it's going to say yes or cancel and if I hit cancel it just goes away. If I hit yes I want to display a message. So not, not a super practical use case. It's a simple use case which should make it easy to follow along. So let's start by adding a button here. Uh, and I kind of like to add them on the left here. Uh, so let's do that. I have a button. Let's give it a different label. Um, and let's say uh, pop up modal. All right. So that's my button. We're not going to do anything else with this until we've configured the modal uh, all the way. Uh, but I, in order to add a modal, a modal is basically a component, uh, but it works a little bit differently. So I'm going to come in to add, and you can see I can add a component before or after, or I can add a modal. And then a modal, I have some different options here. Uh, so I would take some time, explore these. Uh, they are explained pretty well in the docs. Uh, but today we are going to use a confirm modal. So if I hit that, uh, a modal is going to pop up and gray out the rest of the screen. So I have to interact with it before I can do anything else. Uh, so let's configure it. Let's say Brad's modal. I like to put my name all over the place and say uh, confirm this to get a happy message. All right, uh, we can change the name of that to confirm instead of yes if we wanted to. Uh, so let's do that. And so I'm going to go ahead and configure some events here. So primary button click, that's confirm. So I want to go ahead and pop a message uh, if we do that. And I am going to do that. Add alert notifications. Hit edit. And I know that it wants an array of objects here. So I'm going to say type is info. And the message is, hey, this worked. All right, I can format that uh, so that it looks a little easier or it's easier to read. Let's hit apply. So that's going to pop that up, but I also want to uh, I also want to go ahead and kill this modal uh, once I hit confirm. Uh, so we're going to do that real easily by saying open or close modal dialog. And I only have the one mod modal. It's confirm one, and so if I don't toggle this to open, uh, it's going to automatically close uh, that modal. So let's do that. And then there's another button they can hit, which is the cancel button. That's the secondary button. So let's add another event handler and tell it, hey, if you click that event handler, we want it to close as well. Let's hit add. And then one last thing is we actually need to go ahead and pop the modal from our button and uh, guess what event handler we're gonna use. Yep, open or close modal dialog. And for this one, I am going to toggle this so that it opens the modal dialog. So let's add and save. And let's test it. So when I click this pop-up modal button, I get this modal. That's good. If I hit confirm, I get this message that says, hey, this worked. I could do it again. Hit cancel. I don't get the message, but it goes away. And then all of the modals have the close dialog button already. And this is also going to close the modal. Uh, so you could do different things with those buttons, but generally, you know, the primary button, you want to do something and close the modal. The other button, you just want to close the modal. And that was a really quick uh, demo on how to use the confirm modal.